Okay, Shia, so I know, I know I'm not one of those big directors just yet. Not just yet. But I'm almost there. I'm getting there. And I think this movie here, this will be it. That's why I want you to star in this movie, Shia. I think you would be perfect for this role. Just please, if you could, just, just read over the script and tell me how you like it and see if this would be a good fit for you. No, I don't need to read the script. I'll just do it. Um, great. Uh, it looks like we're going we're gonna to be filming for about the next six months. And uh, the job pays about uh, $249 in total. I'll just do it. Oh, do it. <laughs> uh, uh, perfect. Uh, we'll, we'll start filming next Monday. Just one question so that I can prepare myself properly. As you know, I'm a method actor. Yes, yes, one of, one of the best in, in method acting. I need to know the, the backstory of my character. So get this. You ready? Are you? Get, get this. You are a normal, regular man in everyday life, set in modern day, all right? The most average Joe Schmo that there is. Just living life day to day, uh, not too mundane, but you do have a few perks. You're upper middle class, yeah, all of that. You, you're comfortable, all right? So nothing to be mad about, but one day, just one day, you pull a gun out, you shoot yourself in the head. Now this is kind of like a, a biopic or documentary, this is based on a true story of a man who lived like a normal, completely good life, but he killed himself and nobody understands why. So this is just kind of getting down to the roots of it all. Hmm. Okay. I think, uh, I think I can work with that. Whoa, 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 whoa! Put that, put that down! Why do you have a gun to begin with? Man, just look at my tattoos, cause I'm a gang member. You ain't watched the tax collector? How's it going everybody? How's everybody doing? Hey. Hold on. That, that's a dead shot of LaBeouf right there. That's a dead shot of LaBeouf. That must only mean one thing. He committed suicide. He committed suicide. Yo, this man is a fucking genius. This man is an act one of the best actors of our generation right here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that is method acting right there. Take notes, everybody. Take some notes. This movie about to be that movie. <laughs> uh, silly, silly Shia. What? Why did he shoot himself? Because... He just can't seem to help himself. <laughs> Shia has to live the role that he was given. He has no other option. Isn't it clear? Isn't it obvious? That that's why I picked him for the part? <laughs> so you knew that this would happen? Why? Why? Why would you do this? It was Valentine's Day, 1998. We were both at the LA County Fair, even though we both didn't know it. Usually, the LA County Fair is uh, in the summertime, but this just happened to be a magical year where all the stars lined. That's what it seemed to me anyway, until Shia came. And little Helga Jewelskovitz. She was there that day. But of course, I knew that in advance. Because we were classmates. We talked about it. So knowing she was going to be there, I, was, I brought her a Valentine's Day gift. I had it all ready and bundled up. It took me two funnel cakes and a basket of deep fried Oreos to get the sugar rush that build up to the confidence that I needed to walk up to her. And you know what I did? 
I walked up to her with all the confidence in the world. And on my way over, guess who walks on by? Shia LaBeouf. He saw her, got one glance at her, didn't even know who she was, but thought she was beautiful. So he said, hey look, I'm an actor, I'm an actor. Look at me, we should go out together because I'm about to be famous. And you know, that ruined my motherfucking life. We were supposed to be together, supposed to get married one day, you know? He just had to step in. So on that day, I vowed to myself that I was going to become a director. I was going to hire him for a role. And I was going to complete my revenge. Sweet satisfaction. But I still don't have my Helga Jaworskiewicz. Are you sure you want to do that? Because I googled her. And it says right here she's in prison. What? My Helga? She in prison? Oh, no. Let my baby free. It says here she was convicted of prostitution, public property damage, treason. Treason? That's, that's a wild thing to be convicted for. And war crimes against humanity. Look, it gets even worse. Her vitals show 6'5", and she weighs 320. It also says here that she was a meth and crack addict for 12 years. Now, it says too that she recovered in prison, but the fact still remains 12 years of meth and crack is 12 years of meth and crack. Now, is this somebody you sure you, sure you want to be with? What? Man, Shaw was a good man. Why the good ones gotta go so soon? Why couldn't you take me, Lord? Wow.